Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Today's card features Pink Fresh Studios floral notes. I love the sketch-like appearance of the spray of flowers. To enhance this look, the image was painted loosely, meaning that I tried to aim for a suggestion of highlights and shadows rather than precise detail. So let's get started. For this slimline card, I began with an oversized piece of Canson XL watercolor paper. To prepare for a color wash background, water was applied liberally to both sides of the paper. This will allow the paper to lie flat and as it dries there will be minimal warping. For today's project, I'm working with Mission Gold watercolors. I'm using a number 8 brush. Typically I would use something larger, but my big brushes are packed away right now. Van Dyke Green was applied to the left hand side of the panel. I like the earthy cool tone of this green and thought it would be a perfect foil for popping in the colors that I would be using on the flowers. Repeating the colors will help to unify the card. Although the paper is quite wet as I'm dropping in the bright clear violet, I still help to move that color around. Before getting started with my next color, red violet, I first apply clean water along the edge where the color is softening. This will prevent any hard lines forming as it dries. I want the colors to fade on the right hand side of the panel, so I tip it on its left just to help those colors blend together a little bit. I finish up with a little bit of yellow green in a couple of spots on the panel just to brighten it. One of the things I don't like about watercoloring is having to change my water frequently. I came across this great water dispenser actually on Amazon about a year ago and I just love it. With the press of the button the dirty water is released into the reservoir below and then it automatically refills with nice clean fresh water. So if you're looking for something to enhance your watercoloring experience I really recommend the Masterson Fresh Water Rinse Well. The floral spray was stamped with Versamark ink on the same paper as the background, Canson XL watercolor paper. It was embossed with Ink on 3's Gold Rush embossing powder. As mentioned earlier, the same colors used in the background were also used on the floral image. I began with the leaves. I first wet the area and then dropped Van Dyke Green into the base of each of the leaves. For the larger flowers, I used Red Violet. For these larger images, color was applied twice. First I applied a watered down amount of the red violet and then followed up with some more saturated color. I didn't worry about making sure that the color was pulled out to the embossed edge. This looser and messier style of watercoloring goes very quickly. I find this looser style of painting a little bit more challenging as I tend to work towards getting a nice even blend. As I dropped in color, I was very conscious about not overworking an area and had to remind myself that I was actually working towards forming those hard edges when there was layers of color applied. Bright clear violet was used on the tiny flowers and in the flower centers of the larger ones I used yellow green. When the background was completely dry and that did take a while, it was die cut using Pink Fresh Studio Slim Diagonal Stitched Plaid Die. The floral spray was fussy cut leaving a small border. Both the flowers and the background were mounted on white sheet foam. Anything foam backed I like to let dry under some weight so that there's good contact between the paper and the foam. 
when trimming off the foam around the flower spray, I didn't work towards cutting everything precisely. Rather, I undercut it to get the basic shape. Normally, I would apply spatter before foam mounting. But at the last minute, I decided to add Distress Stain Tarnish Brass. The spatter was applied inside a spatter box using my smallest watercolor brush. I find that the distress stains can take a while to dry and so it was set aside for quite some time before the card was assembled. The happy birthday sentiment was stamped with Versamark ink on matte gold cardstock and embossed with Simon Says Stamps fine white detail embossing powder. The sentiment was trimmed down with Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. The sentiment was mounted on white sheet foam and then left to dry while the card was assembled. The foam back background was attached to matte gold cardstock leaving about an eighth of an inch border. It was then adhered to a card base of Nina Classic Press 110 pound cardstock that measured eight and three quarter inches by four inches. I wanted the foam back sentiment to overlap the foam back flowers. After I figured out how much the sentiment would overlap the flowers, I added in a second piece of foam on the overhang. Before trimming off the excess foam, I let it dry for a while while I attached the flower spray to the card base. The sentiment with the foam backing forming a step was adhered to the card. To finish up this slimline card, clear iridescent sequins were scattered on the flower spray and around it and topped up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. And that wraps up this card featuring Pink Fresh Studios beautiful stamp set floral notes. As always, I appreciate your visit.